So this is this cool little point I found, just a short walk from the van, that has these cool stone chairs, fire pit. And that view. Pretty awesome. Hello friends, family, total strangers. Uh, today's video, uh, I am up on the Mugayan Rim in Arizona. Um, it's pretty awesome up here. So I'm about uh, 7,600 feet right now. And uh, yeah, totally gorgeous up in the Ponderosa Pines. Really enjoying it. Uh, it is May 4th as of recording. And uh, yeah, today's video is uh, just kind of going to be a catch up of what I've been doing since I got uh, back from Coyote Gulch. So yeah, what have I been doing? <laughs> so after Coyote Gulch, uh, I had to drive down to Phoenix. I had a uh, first vaccine shot. So I got that done right after pretty much, yeah, like two days after, after we got off the trail. Uh, and then uh, that was in Phoenix. And then I stopped at the Balkan Bakery, which uh, was really cool. I'm going to cut you to that footage right here. Uh, I've been wanting to travel to the Balkan countries uh, for a bit now, and uh, there is a Balkan bakery here in Phoenix, so I stopped and got this is uh, beef burek, and I also got some chivapi uh, coming out as well. <laughs> that is pretty awesome. It's like kind of like a phyllo pastry uh, stuffed with beef. You can also get it with cheese or various ingredients. Delicious. So here's uh, item number two. First of all, item number one was awesome. <laughs> uh, this is item number two. This is chivapi, uh, which is kind of like these little little sausage things. These uh, meat inside of a pita, and then it comes with several toppings you can do. This is some sort of traditional vegetable paste. Looks good. So, uh, yeah, the chivapi's good. It's good. The barek was awesome though. So if I was to choose one of the two, I would definitely go with the barek. I'm pronouncing that terribly, but yeah, that was awesome. This is good. This is good. And both are very filling. Uh, and I'm excited. I also got a loaf, loaf of uh, dark rye bread from there. It's a bakery. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, the bakery was awesome, especially the barek. Uh, the rye bread was pretty good too, but yeah, that barek was awesome. And uh, yeah, I have uh, the Balkans on my list here. I'm Albania uh, and the other countries as well, probably, but Albania is, is pretty high on my travel list right now. So it was really fun to find that little, uh, that little bakery. Now, uh, the next thing I did, I went up and camped actually in the same area but down at the lower end this road wasn't open yet uh in late april so yeah i camped down there uh, also in the pines and uh i did some i don't have much footage of the place but i did do some cooking so i'll show you that right here I have this ridiculously big bag of spinach I have to try to use up. It's two and a half pounds, <laughs> 40 ounces. Scrambled eggs, the spinach, onion, 
fresh tomato and cilantro on top and some cotilla cheese. And this is also some dark rye bread that I got from the Balkan Bakery in Phoenix. Delicious. Well, I bought this little pork roast, which I am going to try to cook in my Road Pro. <laughs> this may take a while. We'll see how it goes. Okay, there's the pork carnitas after four hours in the Road Pro. <laughs> uh, yeah, beautiful. Well, let me get in the sun here. I'm making uh, tortillas for the first time. Never done this before. Uh, we'll see how it turns out. I guess I probably should have found a video to see what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> well, they're not perfectly round. <laughs> but you're fine. Okay, there we are. Some pork carnitas with uh, homemade uh, corn tortillas. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, so that was really fun doing the never done, uh, never done my own corn tortillas before. So that was fun. Um, after that, uh, I drove to New Mexico uh, and visited uh, Jax and Jax's mom and did some cooking for her. So. Uh, I will cut you to that footage. Mm -hmm. Feeling good. Okay, enough video. I want this in my face. <laughs> Little salad for dinner. Out of out of the norm for me for sure, but Looks delicious. Breakfast, day two. Couple of poached eggs on arugula, smoked salmon, various accoutrements. Looks delicious. This is a ricotta stuffed eggplant, courtesy of the pasta grammar. <laughs> Check them out on YouTube. This is Sicilian grilled tuna from the daringourmet.com. I always overcook tuna, but I seem to have nailed it this time. <laughs> so after, you know, I'd been there a few days and I, uh, decided to take a little trip and, and explore around a little bit. I went up to, I always forget the name of it. It's a national monument. Uh, I got a, a video of the sign, so you'll see it. Uh, I didn't do like really good justice for this. I think it's Rio Grande del Norte National Monument. Uh, I didn't do very good justice on the monument because the, like, I think the monument is all about being on top of the canyon and looking across and seeing the, the Rio Grande cutting through this, this plain. But um, it was awesome. I had a great campsite and uh, I pretty much just cooked and sat around playing guitar. So uh, I didn't film any of the guitar playing, but I did film some of the cooking. I did some campfire cooking. So let me catch you that. Uh, van life, uh, sucks sometimes. <laughs> it's cold and rainy. Awesome.
some plantains. I'm getting ready to uh, cook on the open fire here once I get it started. And uh, this is kind of a imitation chili rellenos. <laughs> I'm going to stuff these uh, basilla peppers with uh, egg, queso fresco. I've got some onion, garlic, and black beans in there. We'll see how it comes out. Well, I had a little explosion with the hot sauce, but uh, <laughs> there is dinner courtesy of the campfire. Okay, yeah, those were officially uh, pretty awesome. <laughs> so that will go on the recipe list for future uh, campfire cooking. Uh, so I, yeah, I stayed there uh, for I think four four nights, uh, which was great. Really enjoyed it. And then I went back to um, I went back to Jax's mom. Did some more cooking. We did a little walk with Jax uh, in the town of Galisteo, a uh, little town. So I will show you some footage from Galisteo, some footage from our our walk along Galisteo Creek, and. Uh, yeah, here it comes. <laughs> What a handsome dog with that handkerchief. <laughs> Jax's timing on drinking is perfect there. Uh, this is a chicken shawarma salad. Looks delicious. Little crepes for breakfast. Delicious. A little eggplant parmesan, courtesy of the pasta grammar. Link to be included in the description. A little uh, New Mexico green chili omelet. Looking pretty good. So, yeah, I got a great visit in with uh, Jax and Jax's mom and uh, had a great time. Um, and now I'm back in Arizona. Uh, I'm a couple hours from Phoenix. I have a uh, appointment for my second vaccine shot in uh, two days. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, excited about that. Uh, Maybe not for any side effects, but it'll be nice to... I will say that after getting the first vaccine, there was just like this nice psychological feeling of like moving forward and getting past all this, uh, all this crap we've been dealing with. So yeah, yeah, it's been, uh, it's been nice. And if you're not into the vaccine, please, yeah, no worries, no worries, just don't... Don't, don't get political in the comments. You know, it's, we all got our choices, you know, whatever. Don't get political either way. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, I um, have one more piece of footage here. Um, me and my good friend, uh, uh, Matt, uh, when we camped before Coyote Gulch, we recorded a song together, uh, a song I wrote. And uh, the story of the song is, a friend of mine made this like horror movie and it was called and the french fries had ants and it had to do with mind control and 
all sorts of things. And he wanted a title song. And so uh, I wrote a title song that pretty much uh, told the story of the of the film, kind of. Uh, I left out the Yetis. Uh, I think that was a wise uh, song choice. So yeah, let me cut you to this song that uh, I wrote and uh, recorded with uh, Matt. So here's that. And the French fries had ants. <laughs> okay, ready? Yeah. There was blood on the ceiling, blood on the floor, blood on the ceiling. I calmly drank my coffee, surrounded by the dead. Chef approached slowly, put a gun in my head, saying, Why did you do it? Why did you stand? What made you go insane? Why did you kill? Why did you destroy? Give me a That's, uh, that's pretty much my video. So I will say the Muggy on Rim is freaking awesome up here. It's like the views are awesome. I'm at the top of like a 2000 foot cliff and uh, it runs for, I don't know, like 50 miles or more. And it's actually a geologic feature that runs the length of the state. Uh, I think the Grand Canyon is part of the Muggy on Rim, but yeah, it's awesome. It's, it's beautiful up here. This is more of a summer place. And so I've never been up here because I'm only here in the winter. So having to stick around because of the, the COVID shots has uh, given me a chance to make it up here, which is great. So been wanting to get up here for a while and uh, it's totally beautiful. So yeah, this was just kind of a grab bag footage dump, if you will, <laughs> video. But uh, yeah, thanks. Uh, Thanks for wa watching if you uh, stuck through it, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. <laughs>